Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, in which we are playing as the Han Warband. Now, I've done and played as the Lone Star State, or just Lone Star under Cho Bang, but I've never quite done the Han Warband, the uh, Warlord Hand. However, the National Spirit Control of I-20 seems pretty good, but we're authorizing emergency economic measures. The crisis we are faced with is no simple issue. If we're to properly combat the eruption of violence, we need to pass emergency fiscal legislation. Very cool, and right now, as you see, we're at war with a certain group of people here. Actually, I'm kind of okay with them keeping it like that. I want to make sure that we actually kind of like link up with our divisions kind of struck, stuck out here. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we do okay. Um, as you see, we got a couple guys down there. Um, if you guys could go in there, that'd be great as well. Uh, actually, if you just cut them off, like that's probably my biggest thing here. Go here, and then go in there. There you go. Oh, hello. Nice. Cut that division off. That'd be great, 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 great. And there's the Brotherhood Divisions in there, too, but we don't really care. We've got some resistors going. Uh, what else do we have around here? Uh, smoke signals. Why not? Why not? So you guys should be able to win here and defeat that division, which would be very, very nice. You should well, hopefully be able to win, but, you know, I guess not. We'll see what happens. We've got a lot of different infantry divisions here. Let's become inspirational. Uh, well, I guess eventually. Um, anything else? we got that done. You guys go right here as well. Uh, go literally here. And here to here to here. Cut literally them all off, which would be super important. Um, actually, yeah, just cut, cut off the capital from everybody and everything else, even up here. So that'll be good. Uh, and we're pretty much out of divisions at this point, which is, well, not good for us, but hey, whatever. Brackenridge would be nice to get one. Come on, please finish these guys off. Come on, come on. There you go. Good job. Keep going in, keep going in. Please don't lose up here. Please, for the love of God, do not lose up here. Uh, you head down here and do that, 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 that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Keep these guys in place for now, and hopefully we can do well against Texas overall. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Even if these guys don't necessarily win right now, that's kind of fine with us. Because I just want to delete all these enemy divisions first, take all the territory as pretty much as fast as possible. Head into here as well. And, uh, yeah, just keep them in place. Uh, that's pretty much the main idea right now. Keep them all in place. Help the, up, the, up, take up these guys, come on. Let's go. Let's go! Keep these guys in place for now. And we almost have all this down, so we have another division to use, which is bueno, 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 bueno. Actually, where are you guys headed to? Oh, they're actually checking us. Look at that. Nice. Hey, we got them. I want you guys to go here to here to here to here to here. Then cut off that division, too. Motorized slot would be nice. Get some biplane fighters because you can. And just make your way on in. Thank you very much. Also, we're using just Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, CH2 Mod, as well as Play of the Peace Conferences. Pretty much my standard for playing Old World Blues, but, uh, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Just hurry up and finish this division off first. And then we'll combine all these guys into one, probably one army. And, oh, we actually have some stuff here. Oh, look at that. Hire additional mercenary companies. The vast majority of the army we field is mercenary companies. More inexperienced groups are usually well assigned to garrisoning our settlements, while larger and more well-equipped companies can be used as frontline units. Should, of course, the need arise. So, <coughs> excuse me. But we have passive refugee assimilation, which we don't really care about. And it looks like we're probably about to win here. Send them all under Centurion Renatus. Because we can. Learn Renatus. Learn. He's a strong individual. Um, I just want to stack them all into Lone Star if possible. So, there you go, there you go. Win here first, completely surround it, and then just kill them all off. There you go. Go up there first. This way you can do this too. Hey, they're trying to actually break out. Nope. And then we'll force the attacks. So we, we will literally just force them to die. Go in whenever you can. That'll be great, and even though it may not seem like we're winning. If they have nowhere to go to, and they're completely surrounded, then they, and once they lose the organization, they're dead. Losses, 68 versus 500. I say that's pretty good so far, but this is going to be really difficult fighting the Texan Brotherhood, probably. 500 some, and we're almost there. And we've hit, what, 600, 700, can we get 800, 900, 1,000 maybe? Oh, we got automation. <laughs> that's kind of nice, nice. I love automation. Um, hello. Let's grab some of you. And 1,000, please. Come on, we got it. Come on, we got it. We got it. We got it. And... Ah, yeah, 1,200. Nice. We won. Good job, guys. And some of the refugees, well, that's okay. Um, I I would like to expand if we possibly can at, at all. I don't know why we have... What, do we, what are the divisions that we have here? 10 combat width. The Haskell Garrison is 8 combat width. And the Legion Remnants are 12 combat width. So, honestly, I want everyone else... Oh, why can't we change that division? I don't understand why we can't change that division, man. 
Yeah, you guys are that one. Even though you technically are... Uh, maybe we will use Recon. We'll see what happens. Because they do have special forces on their divisions, which I don't necessarily like. But oh well. Good job. Now train. Um... Distribute arms assistant. If you want to build that, please go ahead. I was supposed to recall the Love Expedition. And, of course, we got that one done, too. Victory for the greater good. The vile, the vile do-gooders that used to oppress us have long last been crushed. Without their influence, we can begin to prepare the area for our great leader. Nice. Lone Star has been disabled, but that's fine. We have a trade node, which is awesome. I love it. Oh, my God. Even more divisions like this. A, war, a new warlord on the I-20. The last pockets of those loyal to Bang in the old order are currently being eradicated as we speak. So it appears that we have at least managed to seize control of the country from the stuffy traditionalists that refuse to recognize their true master, Kaizal. Now that we have control of most of the nation, we can go about implementing our program. Much is needed to be done before we can reach out to the Kaizal and rejoin the Legion, however. The economy has suffered much as, during as a result of the Civil War, and our army is nothing better befitting of a Legion. We also need to deal with these pesky rangers of the War East, as well as to safeguard Lone Star from any other outside attacks. We must get to work for Kaizal. Kaizal wills it, and so it will be done. An economic powerhouse alone. We can't rely on anyone else in the Texan Way Center to support us if we need help. We must assure we always have an economic powerhouse alone. Any anyway, what's this? We're here. Um, the Texan Economic Union is there. Ah, oh, good. We got actually trade on, which is awesome. Lubbock? Do we have anything in our focus street regarding Lubbock? Cool. Ranchers. Um, anything there? No. Anything over here? Occupation. A military expedition to take over Lubbock. If they're in a faction with us or a puppet, they may submit to a rule, but it's very likely they'll send their army to meet our expedition before we can reach your capital. War will be declared. Oh, well. Oh. A slave to be admired. Well, it seems like we're going to get them any anyways eventually. Or... Do we just want to take them out? I don't know. Let's see what happens with them first. Is there anyone we could actually take out here? Like... I just want to take someone out. I want more war. How long would it take for us? Uh, I want to see what the expedition's like. Uh, that sucks. That sucks. Cool. There you go. Alright, so we got a lot of political power, as you can see. And hopefully, this is going to be enough time to actually just build ourselves up. What do we have here? Frontline mercenaries? That's not bad. Hers are attack and defense, though, which is not very good. Military theorists. Asymmetric warfare? Ooh. Ooh. Has, did the AI choose to go down a route yet? Hmm. What type of... No, we're civilized. I want to... There will be a campaign. I don't think it'll be this campaign, but eventually there will be a campaign in which we will go down using asymmetric warfare and use enforcers and militia. I just don't think it'd be fitting for this campaign. I mean, yeah, it looks like we're raiders and stuff, but still. Raiders who can get triplane attackers? I'm not so sure about that, man. We definitely need more guns, too, so. All right. What is next? After this one, development at home? Uh, I mean, we'll do that one. Lone Star's proper is thriving. If we were to use our political capital to pull the right strings, we could help it boom even further. Nice. Get some anti-tank rifles, absolutely. Get some dynamite as well. We got a lot to get done here. Oh, boy. Siege of Hidden Valley. Make sure that we're using our trade node appropriately. And trading with other people, 43.79 is nice. Twin Mothers is 37. Gloria? Oh, recently. Oh, I guess it was recently changed, huh? That kind of sucks, but whatever. Alright, so what can we do here? Well, that's not bad. Fortifications, War Industrialist, Expedition Leader, not bad either. Slave Trader. Alright, well, hmm. Oh, cultural Advisor, Texan Prize, not bad. Economic Powerhouse is not very much. Lloyd Tower. That's pretty good. I like that, too. 10% reduction in coring costs. That seems pretty awesome. But, eh, more political power because we can. Okay, so combat our weaknesses. Kickstarter military research. How about reach for a better future? The old direction of Lone Star was pitiful. All that its leaders strode for was money, trade, and power. Instead, we must be united in fighting for a greater cause than ourselves. So this means we get some more autocracy, we get some more war support, <coughs> And which would be pretty good for us. Uh, restoration. Every state on the I-20 gains two levels of infrastructure. That's not bad. <clears throat> Turbines. Development stuff. 
Uh, I wonder if we get another resource slot. Even though four is already pretty darn good. So at least we get two more cities right now. So we can build ourselves up more, 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 more. Uh, keep building, keep building. Don't worry about it. Keep building. Don't don't ask questions and keep building. All right. So anything here interesting? Logistics, ace generation. That's not bad. I like that one. That's pretty good. Faustus of Amarillo. Ooh, that's pretty good too. East Easton Hodge is pretty darn good. And less caps expenses. That seems pretty decent too. Uh, offense, defense, legion tactician. Interesting. I, I kind of like that one as well. That's not bad either. Dylan Bar Barrett. Barrett. I like this one a lot too. Public. And we're on a historical. But I didn't say so already. So we are on a historical for now. Just get Dolchinsky. That's fine. So now, uh, now we good. Use willing labor to get caps or new approaches for new times. Get stability. We can always make more money later on. War monitoring disposition. Ooh, I like that one. Versus our home first and foremost. As much as this one seems great, I don't. I think this one's just better. I like being a warmonger. It's so much for, more more fun being a warmonger than anything else. Uh, let's get some doggos for this campaign as well as recon. Nice dynamite and anti tank. Cool. <clears throat> All right. Well, we've got a lot of caps. Look at that. Um, how can we spend that more than that? But for a better future, let's do warmongering disposition. Our neighbors aren't going to be happy with their new values and idols. One day they'll come for us, so we'll just have to deal with them first. Which I love, love. Let me get a unit leader as well. Let's see, bomb gliders. Yeah, that's a little bit ahead of time. If it's ahead of time, I'd like to do research speed. But after this one, we'll probably do cards all falling. Uh, I like the civvies. 100 caps are not bad. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. But New approaches for new times. Whilst we follow the, the order of progre progress the Legion has brought to the waste, slavery to the extent that Kleizar practices it will be impractical, no star. A new approach, of course, is needed. Um, yeah, I might as well do seat selection. We get some more manpower, multi population, appeal to refugees is fine, whatever. Get some more output as well. Are we missing anything? Actually, we've got quite a bit of good stuff here. <sighs> Militias, rioters, patrolmen are okay. I like that they already have recon on them, but at the same time, we gotta switch these out. We have to remove these guys. But then again, that wouldn't cost too much to actually replace these guys. And these guys will become 12 combat width. That does cost us 14, though. We do have recon on them already, though. Ah, I'll do that one. Why not? Um, everyone but you two. Yeah, you all become this. Patrolmen. Legion remnants. So you're all this. You, you, and you. Uh, I don't know why we just can't change these templates eventually. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Um, ooh, waste on economy. Woke up army. Yeah, definitely do that one. Build faster, build more. <coughs> Get more benefits out of it, right? And new protest for new times. So I do want to rush down getting Lubbock as fast as possible now, so reach out to the old. Warlord Han has many contacts amongst the remnants of the Legion's scavenging expeditions to Texas. Many of these veterans may prove useful, of course, to us. Because I do want to get down here. Occupation of Lubbock, death and taxes. The state ain't big enough. And are we, I guess our ultimate goal for this campaign is for us to become basically Texas. Whenever you're playing in Texas, you want to become Texas. Cool. Anything else there? How about over here? Revolvers? Yeah, I might as well grab them revolvies. Land auction. It just seems like we should go conventional. It just seems like we should probably go down that way. We're not using robots or anything. I, I, I kind of wish a few more nations actually used robots. You're going crazy. Well, yeah, of course, New Vegas. Some of the Tlaloc and his sons. Um... Vault City uses, can use robots quite a bit as well. Robot City, obviously. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of wish robots maybe had a slightly bigger... At least at the, t at the time of this recording. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but a slightly you know, more prominent role. But whatever. Can we train these guys anymore? Yes, we can. Very good. Anything else here? Refugees, stuff like that. No one cares. Um, Captain of Industry. Production stuff. Oh, this wouldn't be too bad. More income caps, but use willing labor. Ah, well, oh well. Factory output would not be bad either. What is this one? Recruit new mines. Huh. Ah, eh, click that one. Got plenty of time for that one. So, all right. So then, reach out to the old very, very soon, within two weeks, which would be good. And we're getting more civvies. It's great. Now we have more army XP. So now we can use you guys and throw on another thing of inventory. Use up even more guns, which we only have 190 of. Not bad. Reach out to the old. Follow it up with. We get currently 1.22 political power every single day, which is pretty darn decent. Purge our enemies. Ooh. We have a lot more political power that we don't really need. Lose two cities in Lone Star and add two arms workshop. I'm not sure if that's really good, but 
Let's purge our enemies first. Whilst we have established our dominance through open warfare, the day-to-day -day workings of many settlements have changed little since their ascension to power. That's got to change. So I'm really planning here that once these guys are gone, we're just going to just strike out. Just go. Because we will be able to go to War the War Band, The Last Lodge, um, and get up to Oklahoma, which would be really great. So grab that as well. And then after clay working, what are we going to grab? Probably plant cultivation? <clears throat> Resources aren't really big problem, so we'll get more monthly population as well. Core population is 72,000, not million, but 1,000. That's actually pretty darn good. Uh, so yeah, just go and grab some military theorists. As much as... I, I, please let me know in the comments below. What nation do you think in Old World Blues would be a good nation to use? Asymmetric warfare, going down the wasteland tactics to get buffs for militia, uh, locals, which includes militia and lawkeeper platoons, which I'm thinking actually the Lone Star State actually might be really good, or just Lone Star. Enforcers get better stats as well. More breakthrough, militia, defense, soft attack, hard attack. Um, Cazador of Venom is usually good for infantry as well. And locals, same thing. So let me know in the comments below, like, what nation do you think would be best if we were to do a campaign like that? Follow it up with, actually for this one, we need this one too, right? Oh, we need all this stuff. Oh my gosh, it's going to take so long to get down there. Militarize our industry. Our output is almost entirely geared towards or around civilian factories. That's got to change. Got to wish we could just go to war somewhere else. And there's no way we can go to war with these guys. We actually have 20 divisions. That's actually not that bad. That's actually pretty good. Nope. Nope. Oh, well, we'll see for this campaign. Will Lanius' cohort be able to beat the Hangdogs? Yes or no? I have no idea. We got a lot of caps, though. You know, invest it. Invest the money. All right, we invested it wisely. Lone Star, thank you. We have so many resources. I love it. 44 revolvers. Never big enough. And better pipe guns. I'll get some tacos too. Tacos, tacos, tacos. We definitely could use more military factories. So we're level. Actually, that's not bad. Level five is pretty good. We'll close out of that. Close out of that. Fifteen out of fifteen. Fifteen and one. Nice. If that's the case, um, do this one first. Do that. There you go. Get that city and get that milli done. Purge our enemies and militarize our industry. Yeah, I don't want to lose stability, but eh, it's all right. I really don't want to lose civvies either, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Occupation love it, come and take it. Oh, we already go to that one? Oh. Carthaginian refugees, huh? We have a lot of political power already. Huh. There you go. Even more. Train some more guys. You're not done yet. You ain't done yet, son. So what's up next? Outside of battalions, yeah, you might as well do that eventually. Plant cultivation is nice. Grab some uh, flexible designs as well. Conventional warfare, follow it up with... Battle plans. I almost never choose mechanized warfare. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. This, this It's okay. Like Unless you're like really, really vehicle-focused. I mean, you get to tank so late, too. Like, I just don't think it's worth it. But maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Trader. Caps income. Factory output. Oh, I'll grab you. Why not? And let's grab the trader as well. Slightly more caps, right? Slightly more caps. Not much more, but... It'll be nice. Uh, so after we militarize stuff, we need additional plating, some more defense, primitive radios, simple circuitry, good stuff. Our new mayor. Yeah, using getting more stability would be, would be good. Sun dogs, all right, come and take it. Battle for Hoover Dams, very nice. Uh, combat or weaknesses. And this is better because it's only 40 day, 40 day focus. If we're to survive in this harsh, harsh wilderness of Texas, we must combat our lack of military production. To do this, we must deal with our economic weaknesses. So who needs stability? Even though we can grab more stability down here. Death and taxes. That seems nice. So, And we got about, about a week left. 6,000 manpower is pretty good, though. Alright, let's see. Oh, now we definitely need more guns. We're making scout kits. We might use them. We'll see. Warlord hand. Yes, please. Nice. Militarize it. Yes, please. Combat weaknesses. Good. White legs and timekeepers. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, political actions. Uh, nothing there. We can scavenging program, we can go into that one too. 700 some caps, not too shabby. Followed up with, develop the Lone Star Arms Industry, so even more millies. With small investments, we should be able to boost our arms production significantly. As we should. Paint it red, that's just so good to do. I like having less stuff like less damage work here, since this is really good as well. Yeah, go and grab that one. Agriculture research speed, just, you might as well. You just literally might as well. Um, We're not quite at 15 yet, so do that one. Uh, get that one done first. 
You'll be done in three days, so then we can move it to the lower side. There go the sun dogs. Goodbye. Thank you. Combat our weaknesses. It's always good to combat your weaknesses. Uh, ooh, that's not bad. Yeah. Oh, daily air XP. That's kind of unique. I'll be honest. That's kind of unique. I like that. And develop the Lone Star Arms Industry. <laughs> so this one we need... Oh, we don't have to do that one yet. We actually have to go down and reduce reliance on mercenary posts and protect the capital. Oh, get oh, there is a research slot there. Oh, I should I should have been beelining, beelining towards that one. My bad. So after this one, we'll protect the capital probably next. Kickstart military research. Yeah, I get this one first. Protect the capital. We are a stronghold of the Legion, and so we must never lose. Lone Star to foreign invaders. We must ensure it is protected from land and sky. Oh, we got 46 army speed. Nice. Um, go with that, and then go with some anti-tank. Get some fire teams, get some demo teams. I know we don't have enough uh, stuff for this, but... Actually, which one is more defense? Seven and a half versus 50, 15. Four soft attack, eight soft attack, four hard attack, two hard attack, plus 0.9 organization. You lose organization with this guy, and you get less HP with fire teams, but just more defense would be nice. Um, all it requires 25 fire weaponry. Manpower still goes at the same amount, so... Um, honestly, I'd rather get more soft stacks. I'll do that too. Do that the Lone Star Arms Industry. And then, protect the capital. Still not bad. 79 is pretty good. Quarterly profits. So now we must be losing a lot of guys. Or about, not by losing, but like, our guys are really not strong at all now. Which makes sense, but still. Go, go and improve the trade nodes. We get some more monies. Thank you. Go and do this as well. Train anyways, because we like getting more army XP. We're only training two divisions at a time, so it's not that bad. And militia training. Um, that's a little bit of time still. We could get robots, but that'd be kind of useless for us right now. But after protecting the capital, oh, there goes Max chapter. Let's just grab Kickstart Military Research because we need that one. We la we lack woefully behind our neighbors in terms of military technology, relying on our mercenary contacts or contracts to provide us with most of our weaponry. This has got to change if we're to survive on our own. It's very true. So how many things are we? Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Less dependence. Infantry armor's okay. Spec ops equipment. Well, you know what? We're not even using it right now, so just get rid of it. We'll be fine without it for now. Go to four. Five is good enough for that stuff. Protect the capital. Kickstart military research. Anything else here? Oh, yeah. Trip attackers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Once we get a bigger industry, we'll be fine. <coughs> There's no bad light. The forges of war. Recruit shady scientists after we get some battle plans and... Some field fortifications. Simple circuitry. Get some of that too. Partial standardization. How about we grab some more output? Because God, God, God knows that we need more output right now. Oh boy. But by exploring our connections with the Legion, <clears throat> we could encourage some less than ethical scientists to move to Lone Star, greatly expanding our research potential. Absolutely. And I hope we're setting ourselves up to be successful. So this way, whenever we need to, we can just go to war with the Brotherhood, because I'm worried about them, because they can become extremely strong, like ridiculously strong. There's something I want to avoid. Right now, we're still building up a lot of roads, but we've run out of places to build stuff. That's not ideal. Uh, more stimulus, I guess, for Lone Star. That's fine. We can still militarize the economy, huh? It's not bad. Every capture the army, of course. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time, but I don't really care. Four research slots is super nice. Anything else here? Entertainment. Uh... I guess technically we could go with cheap weapons manufacture, but eh, nah. Head in the clouds? No. <coughs> I do want that one though, but that's the old guard. That's not bad. This one's just too good to pass up. Easton's just too good. And then reduce reliance on mercenary forces. We must rely on native military forces if we are to survive any upcoming struggle. Mercenaries can only be relied on as far as their caps can carry us, while loyal men will fight until the end. Attempt to move our military away from total reliance on mercenaries towards establishing a home defense force. Two new levels of conscription laws will be unlocked, allowing us to begin to move our army away from a mercenary force. Which is, yeah, I mean, that's fine. Seems like a smart idea, right? Uh, oh, how much refugees are we assimilating? We have assimilated... 1,300. Zero have been expelled for now. Alright, not bad. We have a fifth research slot as well, so I'm feeling really good about our research. Rebuilding the wasteland, and then we should be able to do this, right? Yes. 
many, many decades ago. Scavengers from a legion came to our lands. Some stayed behind, while with the secret mission of preparing a stronghold for Kaiser, when, of he, when he, of course, came east. We are now that stronghold. God, I want to expand a little bit by the end of this episode. Please, 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 please. Of course, we're pushing pretty fast here. Oh, no, the dogs are going to die. Oh, watch out. Phoenix Republic. And I figured these guys would actually win. So, actually, you know what? That's not bad. We joined their faction. That makes us very strong. That makes the Legion ridiculously strong. Phantasma Cartel, huh? Western Brotherhood. That looks so weird. The she there, and then you guys own this as well? That just... Is that... Does that... Does that normally happen? I don't think that normally happens. That looks really weird. But whatever. Mayor Drinkers. The Troll Warren died early on, which kind of sucks for them. But whatever. We're not them. So, who cares? High Command Patient Teacher. Nope. Nope. That's just too good to pass up. I love that extra defense. Artillery attacking defense is not bad, but I gotta go with the old guard for this one. Gotta give it to him. Got to give it to him. But then this one, too. Well, yep, looks like the hang dogs are actually dead this, this campaign. Go figure. Any other... Anything else? Uh, we're doing better on... Well, infantry armor, of course, but... Fire team's still pretty god-awful. Yeah, that's not good. That's real not good. Level 7 is pretty good, though. I like that a lot. <laughs> Alright, so after this one. We will finally do the Occupation of Lubbock. I wanted to go to war them earlier on, but whatever. To our less, our less, our west, lies Lubbock, a nation once dependent on armies for protection and peacekeeping. We should send our armies once again to Lubbock to keep the peace, and how better to do it than by taking them over? When in doubt, just take people over. It's worked in the past, and it'll work for us. Right? Right. That's not too bad, actually. How are we looking? How are we looking? A little depleted here. Wow. God, I hate... There you go. What extra templates do we have? Well, riders are fine. Legion runs are fine. I'm not going to use that type of core for now. Um, yeah, the rest of these are okay. Not great. I mean, it looks more impressive than it actually is. Oh, we have 20 divisions. Well, not, not really strong divisions. Become inspirational. I almost never use Beloved Leader. Let's go Beloved Leader. I normally don't use that one, but whatever. Alright, land auctions coming along. Specialized Warp here eventually, probably. Followed up with Venta del Sol. Very good. Biplane Fighters. Very nice. Actually, we, do we have an airbase? We have, we're making planes. We have no airbase. Oh. Santa Ana marches. Oh boy, the Texan Stronghold. Kaiser is a genius man. With little apparent help of success, his agents and recruits did the impossible. Lone Star is now home of proud legionnaires, swearing loyalty to him and him alone, but the best is yet to come. We have a role in the legion's greater plans, and why deny the fates their due? By Kaiser's will. Santa Ana marches. Santa Ana is unrestrained by the by Tlaloc, and now plans his grand offensive into Texas. He intends to cross the Rio Grande, and we had best be ready. Didn't we deal with you 400 years ago? But, apparently, he was never defeated. So much for the Alamo chapter. I kind of sucked a fat one this one this time. And we'll get some decryption as well. Because that helps us out in combat. Because remember, someone asked me, why do you do that stuff? Like, decryption, encryption, does it do anything? It actually does. It's very good for uh, combat stuff, so. A slave to be admired. Well, we'll get there eventually. T come and take it. If you wonder by the followers of the apocalypse, please go ahead. You know what? We'll let them come in for now. Carthaginian Refugees is okay. She was a skater. We get roller skates? Oh, that's kind of cool. It's fine. Light the Forges of War. It's not bad, too. Um, let's go ahead. Two at a time for me. Let's grab this one. Yeah. Nice. Just take out Lubbock, please. We can use some more factories. Uh, our new mayor. Yeah, we definitely could use more factories. Our new, our new supplier. Go alone. I think we're probably going to go alone, but we'll see. A few new mines, because there's nothing we can do on the left side here, which kind of sucks, so. Come and take it. Yeah. Centurion's granting us all infantry, motorized, mechanized, plus more infantry. Cut our losses, that's fine. And over here, we're going to grab that. It's a little bit ahead of time, but I don't really care. Uh, like the Forges of War, we need more military factories. The time has come. We must prepare a nation for total war. Do you want a total war? I want a total war. Total war is a fun game. Or fun ca uh, franchise. Head in the clouds, it won't be possible. Yeah, you know what? We're doing this one. If we get something like this, it's just too good to pass out, so. Uh, it's very likely to send an army to meet our expedition, so stop that for now. Get ready, boys and girls. You're going to have to end up killing off a lot of people. Go in, boys. Let's see what we can do. Can we do anything? Oh, God. Maybe we can't do well here. Uh, what do they have on their divisions? Because our guys aren't doing great. They're doing okay. Yeah, overall, they're doing all right. And if we struggle here, well, we get more army XP anyways. 
Especially for this. Oh, this is god awful for us here. All right, so we're losing on every front. I don't really understand how or why. Ah, uh, well, it looks like we're gonna have to do the trial and true tactic of letting them come in first. This literally makes no sense, but it does because it's infantry. So let's hold first. If you want to build the secret burger, please go right ahead. This sucks. So we're gonna take half you guys, and y'all just gonna go and do this. We bait them in. Let them attack us. And if they beat us, well, then the shame on the AI for cheating. There you go. You best not lose, son. You best not lose. And so we're back in. Uh, get some Maraplet. We could just use Maraplet in general. Like, it's just not good enough yet for us. There you go. Not bad. We can pierce them. We can most definitely pierce them. Cool. Well, yeah, of course you're going to win if you go up there. All right. A little better this time. A little better. Well, shock market. Some oversight's usually pretty wise to do. Light the forges of war. Um, Nothing really there too interesting for us. How about some settlements, though? More building slots actually would be very good. Research speed because you can. Why not? Further military thought. You might as well. Jet fighters. Ooh. New tactics are needed to conquer the wasteland in preparations for Kaizo. We should put a concerted effort in furthering our tactics. Yay, keep attacking us. Yeah, I don't like doing it like this, but it, 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 it does work. It does work doing it like this, so. Specialized warfare. Get some aerial warfare next. And the next focus we're going to do is fight in a new domain. Well, this aerial warfare is not a new field. It's almost never been used since the Great War. We must change this. By ensuring we control the air, we can ensure that we'll win on the ground. Now we're 400 versus 400. Eh, no, it's better than it was, it was earlier. And it gives us our generals some more experience as well. So by the time we fight these guys, we should do okay. Exploration technology? Oh, we have no men to spare. That's sucks, but whatever. Deal with it. Twice and two. Oh, there goes Santana. So much for him being a threat, I guess. Ironmongers are doing well against him. Not bad. They were a little difficult playing, to play as them, the Ironmongers. Head on up there, guys. You'll be alright. Alright, metal workers. Not bad. I don't know why Lubbock is so gosh darn difficult to take out. I guess they do have a lot of, uh, maybe some buffs, maybe? I'm not really sure. Oh, they lost water support, but. Um, wall construction plus five entrenchment is really good. And local pride, more defense on core territory. Um. They do have some human ghoul attentions, but that doesn't really mean too much there. That was not very much of a debuff, so. It is what it is, you know. <coughs> Watch for the cough. If you want to read about a song from the front, please go ahead. It's more sports. Unreasonable demand. Kevin Ambush. Let's try to find him. Nice. There you go. Jet fighters. Thank you. Followed up with. Come and take it. Yeah, we could do that. Reach out to scavengers. Militarize the economy. Every. Why do we get two military? Why do we get this twice? I don't like that. Few new mines. It's not bad. Industry, production, there's no military factories. I'll come and take it. During the Texan Revolution, the phrase come and take it was widely used as a message of defiance against the Mexican government. It was going to the Battle of Gonzalez, the opening battle of the revolution during which a small group of Texans defended a cannon from the Mexican forces tasked with taking it. We must have the same mentality. Oh, hello, that's not good. Is supply really that bad? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. We gotta have to talk about this. You are not taking this tile. I swear to Jesus. God, I don't know why it's so god dang hard to fight against these guys. Why? Why? What's the point? What the heck is the point? So give me half you guys. Like, just stay in the line from here on out. Excuse me. There you go. Like, our divisions are pretty, actually pretty darn good. Like, overall, this is a pretty good division. It's not perfect. It's not great. But it's pretty good. And they're going to be attacking and ramming your line until they end up dying all over the place, which is fine, but come and take it. Not bad. Could be better, though. Get. Oh my god. You're literally letting them in. Like, I don't understand what the heck is the problem here. Alright, you go in here too then. Alright, get some radar as well. 67, 68, 69, nice. Help, oh, go in there too. And you're gonna help support the attack as well. I mean, technically this is core territory, so it should be okay doing it like this, so. 
And they're not on core territory, which is good to see. Ah, oh, screw it. Get us an airbase. Nice. Get some more millies as well. Because we could use, get some air speed already. That, that'll make the difference, probably. Anything else? No, we don't need storage right now. Um, it's not bad. There you go. Hopefully this will help us turn the tide of the war. There you go. Any red yet? Nope. Which is good to see. Nice. Good. Head into here as well. Ooh, hopefully they don't come for us. Oh boy. Oh boy. So they've lost. We lost a thousand. Maybe I've lost two thousand, which is just honestly not enough. So bad. Three more backyard workshops. A little bit too at a time. Go with uh, crop rationing. Nah, it's okay. This is looking a little slightly better. Slightly better. Tlaloc's demise. Okay, so there's about 1,500 manpower left. That's not bad. They should be out of... Yep, melee equipment. Good, good, good. Okay, so they're out. Which means we'll begin assaulting their positions hopefully relatively soon. And can do well against them. We just need more attack. Uh, organizations. It's only 5% more organization, which is okay. 5% more attack. Lose some max planning. Recruitable population factor. Um, I don't want to lose max planning at all, so. Keep hanging out for now. We're doing great now. Uh, Centurion Renatus has learned quite a bit, actually, which is nice to see. Come and take it. Our friends to the south. Recruit our own Centurions. For most military matters, we have deferred to the remnants of the Legion's scavenging expedition. However, now our army has grown too large for them to oversee, so we must recruit Centurions of our own. Nice. Oh. Oh, what happened to there? Santa Ana shares their hatred of the Texas brother. While we may want to threaten Texas, that's tomorrow's problem. And once we take him out, Rusk will be more than a match for the Tin Pot Tyrant. Well, I guess we can't do that one now, too, either. Can we? Now we're in a better position. Yeah, just attacking up right out would just probably dumb. But whatever. Uh, we're getting more civvies. If you want to read about Pursuit, please go read about that. Nice. Military Infrastructure Networks. Even if we had all the troops in the world, they would be of no use to us if we can't move them around effectively. We should develop infrastructure close to the Texas Brotherhood's border. Sounds like a smart idea. I'm glad they haven't stopped attacking either, so. About a thousand manpower, not bad, 16. <coughs> Guerrilla attacks, good, good, good. You can grab some of that as well. Uh, sorry, let's see if you learn anything. He's a beloved leader. Hmm. Yeah, get light touch. That's fine with us. Just a simple light touch. Four, four, five. That's not too bad. How much money do we have right now? We have 13, 23 divisions. It's not bad. Recruit our own centurions. Now, they have 16 divisions. We're running out of stuff. There's still some anti tank rifles. Come on, just lose your manpower faster, faster, faster. I mean, it did definitely, it definitely helped when we got air superiority here. Like, it definitely did. Like, that's not bad. That's pretty good. So, let them weaken themselves, continually weaken themselves on the line. Radio detection is pretty good. Grab the next one, too. And then grab some extraction, because you can. And we'll probably go with warrior equipment for this one. Yeah, it just seems more fitting for us here, I think. I could be wrong, though, but... Wait, we can crucify local opposition. Ooh! Through the cruel practice of crucifying all that dare oppose our rule, we could rapidly could bring could rapidly bring occupied territories under heel. Through the systematic crucifixion of opposition in occupied territories, we can eliminate the threat that opposed our rule and bring them under our thumb. It may be bloody, but Kaizal wills it. Queen Court, uh, Texas states, but cheaper by twenty percent. That's not bad. Oh yes, let them come. Nice. Um, expand slipways, dock your output. I mean, whoever, I, do you guys ever choose extend or expand slipways? I, I've literally never chosen that one. I'm pretty sure. Like, like literally. I don't think I've ever used that. Terra Relief is gone, whatever. Um, we will have to do some general attacks soon, but hopefully not yet. They're still killing themselves on the line, which is awesome to see, but. Chief of the Navy, that's not bad. Eh. Uh, we have planes, so. We'll do that one first. I mean, as long as they're still attacking, we're not gonna we're not gonna attack yet. So, twenty four percent stability sucks. Nice. 
just crucify them. Just, just straight up crucify them. And let's get some more stability. Our new mayor. Although the warlord rules Lone Star, there's nothing wrong with this civilian front. We may, we are merely protecting the town. Nice. They're looking pretty darn weak now. And we got another division up. Awesome. And Lone Star, how are you feeling? Well, we maxed out Lone Star now. You get over 100 caps every quarter, every pay period. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Please tell me you're out of manpower. Please, you are out of manpower, out of, out of time, out of touch, as Hall and Oates would say. But oh my goodness! So all right, let's see this, everybody. Get on the field. Get on the field. Get get on get on the line. Get some planning going because we are just going to do some general attacks from here on out. It's going to be costly and brutal and bloody. But we do have anti-tank and demo equipment and just not enough fire teams. But that's all right. Five, four, three, two. God, I hope this goes well. All but one, right here. We're gonna slowly try to push into this territory. Should be able to do well, but if we did a general attack, it'd be very, very, extremely bloody. So go in there, Snyder. Nice, you got in there before they did. That's awesome, actually. Warrior equipment, got some of that too. If you could just like turn, that'd be awesome. Okay, as long as they don't go in there, I'm, I'm okay with that. Look at that. And an encirclement of three divisions. They immediately begin and loving them. Yeah, that's what we call it. Lots of love. Lots and lots of love, my friends. Lots and, and they're dead. Cool. Not bad. Crucify local opposition, followed up with our new mayor. Let these guys get organized first, get some planning done, all that good stuff, and then we'll keep going. Another building slot? Yes, please. Focus fire. Um, you know, I'll let you guys decide. Should we do LMGs or HR, HRCWs? Should we do and should we do flamers and or grenades or or grenades? We can't do both, but let me know which one should we do? Flamers, frag grenades, LMGs versus HRCWs. Let me know in the comments b -b 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 below. Do that and then get some more of this stuff because we've been we're really maxing ourselves out already, which is kind of weird to think about. Here, you can just do. If we run out of things, just just build a lot of that, that crap. And they're going to circle five more divisions, hopefully, and then call it a death of Lubbock. They're just under new administration. Yeah, yeah, they'll call it that. That sounds better. <coughs> Mojave Territories, thank you, thank you, thank you. Son, where are you going? Where are you going? Nice. All right, time to head on in. And then we're going to really butcher them for fun. Lubbock has had it too good for too long. Get them all on the line. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, four, one, zero, and come on, get on the line. Go. Just force the attack. I want it to be brutal against these guys. But the only way they could they could possibly win is if they like do force defense. And but even then, that's going to be extraordinarily costly for them. Go by one each. Fine. For now. I want it brutal. We're literally crucifying the opposition, so. Our new mayor. Death and taxes. What if instead of demanding money in an ad hoc fashion from his chumps, we regularize their payments? Great idea. Tremendous idea. Nope. I wish I'd stop asking too. So war bonds would be nice, but eh, we're alright. And Warland, and whatever your face is. Hey, thanks for the stuff. They actually, they actually did have guns. Look at that. You know what? I should have done it earlier. I should have been just fine on these guys. Four. Hello, Helki the Ripper. You, you can rip me anytime. Anyways, uh, I want them to come in and do boom, 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 boom. Something like that. Death and taxes. Followed up a slave to be admired. After we get some rock control gear, of course, first. A ghoul from Lubbock, Jack Conway, fought valiantly as the commander of Lubbock's forces. Whilst evidently doomed, he made a brave last stand in the center of Lubbock and took our best men. The best part of a day to finally force him to surrender. Taken prisoner like the rest of the men. enemy, he may be a good slave to keep around. A level 3 ghoul, general from Lubbock, becomes available for assignment. And we'll probably also do what? Adopted foreign currency? Ooh, that hurts our caps income by quite a bit. But caps in. 
Expenses goes down, down too. Uh, that's not bad. Adopt foreign currency. Adopt the Legion's denarius would greatly increase our trade relations with the Legion and land score, as well as strengthening our economy. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will hopefully unify as much of Texas as possible. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.